Good morning, movers. Welcome back to Move Daily Fitness. It's Tracy Steen. All right, the workout today is going to be a nice compound workout. So, multi muscle, multi joint. We're going to often be doing upper body whilst doing lower body. And of course, multi muscles are activated at the same time, which gives you a lot of great bang for your buck. I'm going to repeat each exercise for two rounds. So, we'll get a little bit of progressive overload there. And we'll do three exercises per circuit. I'm going to start you with a warm up and we'll end with a cool down. The format today will be that 45 seconds of work with 15 seconds in between. Now, if you're looking for a cardio workout for tomorrow, click or tap that card on the top of the screen and you can try that one. As for now, Killer compound coming up. Let's do this and move daily. Very good. I am putting strength training on the watch. Let's warm things up front and back. Bends right here, nice gentle hinge at the waist, and push those hips forward. I love this type of workout. Two rounds is nice. You don't get so bored if you don't like the three rounds. I like that progressive overload. I can then really feel it in my muscles, and sometimes I'll do four or five rounds even, you know, and I think that's a great way to build muscle as well. All right, good. Let's do some hip openers. Lots of different ways to go about it. So this is one way, <laughs> it'll be fun. I think, we'll see. Two more here. I'm gonna take it side to side, okay? I'm gonna drop that opposite shoulder toward my knee, just stretching it through the inner thigh and lower back. Last one here, and we'll move into a static lunge, little pelvic tilt. Let's drop low, stretching that hip flexor here, 10 per side. Last one here, and switch sides. Pelvic tilt and drop. Last one, and stay wide, face the front, and let's touch our toes. Other hand goes up toward the ceiling and stretching those pecs. Turn the toes out, and plie open in the chest. Last one here. Bring your feet closer and we'll squat. Reach to your tiptoes. And let's do some heel digs right here. Sweep, alternate sides. Last one here, and reach across, tap. Up and over, reach, and here. And come to here, hands behind the head, Behind the back, behind the head, behind the back. Nice, just stretching those. Ball and socket in the shoulders, warming that up a bit. Last four, and three, 
two. Last one here. All right, are you ready? Two rounds of each. Let's get started. Very good, we're gonna start with your classic reverse lunge hammer curl. Alternating that reverse lunge. I'm gonna hammer at the top. I'm holding 12 pound dumbbells. All right, to alternate those legs and stay tall. So drop it low, curl here, switch legs, and curl. Setting those down and getting down to the ground for my push up, up, down plank. Mod this from the knees, we'll just push up there, and then elbow, elbow, hand, hand, there. Pop it up, let's work. Push up here, up, down plank. that tricep extension. I'm gonna pop to bridge, rounded arms will fly, and then extension overhead. Rounded arms, up, triceps there. Chest fly, and then bend at the elbow. Hitting that tricep extension. Shoulders still, just bend at the elbow. Nice. All right, now we'll go to round two. Back up, switch weights if you want. I'm going to stick with the 12s. All right, lunge hammer. Take it back and hammer. Keep on smiling in my time. 
Okay, bring your back, chest fly, tricep, hop into bridge, rounded arms over the chest, open, open, triceps here, dizzy, grab a sip, and there's the next three exercises. I'm going to grab a eight pound dumbbell for this one, and a squat into a nice low reverse lunge press. Same side until I call half, all right? Here we go. So we squat, press and lunge. Ooh, switch sides and drop and press. Wide row, turn bicep curl this time. The hammer now, palms will face the ceiling. So you're here, then you turn, full stand, and curl. Pull it wide, turn, stand, and curl. I'm gonna grab a 15 for that grandma. Just one. We'll squat, we'll pick it up, and we'll press. Keep your core engaged on that overhead press. Feet a little wider than shoulder width. You drop it low. Pick, press right there. Keep your chin up, watch your mouth. Maybe a bit light. I think I'll grab the 20 on the second round. Back to the top of my eight. Okay. Squat press, I'll call half. Hands on the shoulder. Let's work. one here. Switch, oh burn.
and into that wide row curl. I've got my 12s again. Hinge at the waist. Pull it wide. Turn. Bicep curl. I'm gonna grab that 20, okay, for my grandma. I called it the grandma for one of my clients who was a grandma at the time. Pick up your grandchild, put them in the air. <laughs> Help to remember. Drop it low, up. I'm not a grandma yet either, but this is good. Good functional exercise, you know? Don't look up at the dumbbell when you press it. Look at me. We're gonna take it to the ground again. I'll bring those 12s back down there. My tricep press, flutter kick, combo. Palms are facing. I'm gonna flutter all the while. Here we go. Eliminate the legs if this hurts your lower back. All right, I'm gonna take that eight pound dumbbell and do my side plank press. You can mod this from the knees, okay? You can mod it here or do a plank here, 45 seconds per side. So press it here, nice and slow. elbows getting sore. That's always what goes on me. My abs can take it, just that bottom elbow. Ten more seconds. Slow and controlled here. Press. All right, that was good. Oh, a little clicking in my wrist, but it doesn't hurt. It's fine. All right, other side. Ready? Pop it up, bring it in, and press. Last one here. 
And moving into that full sit up with the front press, I'll hold the eight. Okay. Crunch to mod without the full sit up or eliminate the weight. Legs are straight. So you're here, front press here. Good. All right, back to the top. Sticking with my 12s on my tricep press flutter combo. Oh, never mind. I'm gonna go 15s. They're here. No, they're not. It's a 20. Here we go. Press and flutter. Push your back into the ground. Let's go into that side plank press. I'll stick with my eight here. Seem to be plenty. This longer hold, mod as you need. Let's work, press it here. Mod if you need. Ten more seconds. Stay with me. This is challenging for me, too. Switching sides. Pop it up, here we go. Let's move to that sit up. Full sit up with the front press. I'm holding that eight. All right. Overhead reach, core engaged, and press. Last year, 
All right, I'm gonna give you 30 seconds to stand up, grab some water, make sure you're not dizzy, and there's the next set. All right, I'm gonna go with 12s for my side lunge, front lunge combo. All right, we're gonna alternate that lunge. So you're gonna side here, and then you'll front here, and then switch sides. Here we go, side lunge here. Reach the hip back, front lunge here. Now switch legs, side. Boom, and front, good. Grab those fives for my lateral raise squat front combo. This one always gets my heart rate up. We're gonna start with that lateral and then we'll squat. Feet shoulder width. So lift, drop, front, and stand. Stick your chest out. lunge pec deck press all right so you're going to squeeze then we stand press I'll call half on the leg all right you're here squeeze it here and press right there squeeze press I want you to press over the chest. Last one on the side, switch legs. Pec deck, press. Combo. <clears throat> Stick with 12s. Alternating sides. Reach your hips. To the front. Switch. Here, drop. Good.
That is like one of my hardest exercises. Why? Because your lateral raises out there so long? I don't know. Anyway, static lunge, pec deck, I'll pull half in the leg, up, and squeeze, chest press. Last one here. Switch your legs. <sighs> Grabbing a 15 for my dumbbell swing reverse lunge snatch. All right, I'll pull halfway. You're gonna swing it here. Boom, hips, and then just snatch it to the shoulder. Here we go. Same side, and boom. Hips hinge, and you drop. Now you're switching sides. Grabbing my 12s for that deadlift. High pull, right there. Deadlift, knees are soft. We're hinging at the waist. So you hinge, stand, high pull here, hinge, stand, high pull here. Holding those eights, I think, for my curtsy lunge around the world lateral. So it'll be a nice alternating curtsy with that full range lateral raise. Palms face me. Here we go. So you curtsy, ceiling, slow, slow curtsy, ceiling. Keep your hips facing me on the curtsy. You could do a reverse lunge as well if you don't want to curtsy it. here. Switch arms and legs. Dead 
deadlift. I'll stick with 12. So it's going to be whatever you can high pull. I can deadlift a lot heavier, but high pull. I don't want to pull too high. Hinge here. You're here and right there. Grabbing those eights again for my round the world lateral with that curtsy. Really control the down on this guy. Let's work. Come low. Here, slow, slow down. Watch elbow to knee, halo. I'll grab my 15 for this. Get your shoulder width, we'll squat first, then alternate that halo. Squat it here, elbow to knee, halo this way, back to squat. Other side, halo the other direction. I'm going to grab a 12 for that lateral lunge, lateral raise. Uh, I'll call half again. So we're going to pop it up to the side. Right here, up to 90 degrees. Reach your hips, go low, pop it here. You do get a little bit of momentum, which makes it lifting heavier a little bit easier. Go within your own abilities always. All right, switch sides. Take a step, switch hands and legs. I'm gonna grab the other 12. We'll hit the ultimate deadlift, which is a deadlift, high pull, squat, curl, press. Okay? Starting with that deadlift, knees are soft. Deadlift, high pull, suitcase, squat, curl, press right there, good. Back to your halo. 
Holding that 15 for myself. One more round, folks. Squat, twist, halo here. Other side. Nice little ab crunch on that twist. Think abs here. Crunch. Elbows high. Grabbing my 12. I'll call half. Reach it back. Pop it here. Only use a bit of momentum, okay? Don't swing it at the bottom. Last one here. Take a step and switch. Reach and pop. Last here. All right, last exercise. I think I'll hold the 15s. Ultimate deadlift. So many of your favorites. Deadlift here. Deadlift, high pull, squat, curl, press. Let's go. Halfway, let's go. You are close to being done. Stay in the pocket, folks. You can do hard things. Let's go. Last five seconds. In four, three, two, one and done. You move daily and your killer compound circuit two rounds that was fun I'm gassed walk it out door for stretch if you can all right down on the ground let's go right into pigeon here shall we get a nice little hip flexor stretch oh this hip flexor needs it you know when you fly on a plane you're sitting in that seated position for six hours like our flight was uh, it's a long time to be in that seated position uh, I'm actually flying in about two more weeks to Australia I know some of you are from Australia, switch legs here. I'm going to take my daughter, she's doing the study abroad prog program. <laughs> program in Melbourne, Melbourne. I understand it's referred to as Melbourne, Australia. So I'm taking her there and then staying there for two weeks and doing a little working while, whilst there, so it should be good. All right, let's come here, loose hamstring stretch, but I'm fearful of the flight. <laughs> I think it's like 18. I think we're in, I think we're traveling for 24 hours. How? What? I'm gonna die. Uh, so I'm gonna wear compression stockings so I don't get a blood clot in my leg. Uh, my girl that happened to my girlfriend and that's freaky. Secondly, I'm gonna do a lot of walking throughout the plane as I you know just take moments to get up and move around. Walking all the airports, get a few steps in. Um, there was a study that was posted, I think it was by Dr. Andrew Huber and maybe Andrew Galpin as well uh, keyed in on this one, but it was a study where I, I, I referred to this before, but they do calf raises, so it's like a soleus flex and apparently it's a study that showed that even that small muscle in the body, when done continuously, can help level out your glucose levels, so it was proven in this, this study, but you have to do it a lot. 
So you're like, but it's perfect if you're seated, you can just do these calf raises, right? And, um, <laughs> and then you're doing something, you're getting blood flow, which is the name of the game, right? You're just totally stationary. Let's go into child's pose. No, your blood's flowing slowly and, and in order to activate those muscles, doing a little flexing, contracting, releasing, contracting, releasing can help activate blood flow. So I'll be doing that. Come here, packing some healthy snacks so I don't have to rely on airplane food. Uh, what are your tips when you travel 24 hours? <laughs> I'm, I'm so dreading that part. But I'll be with my daughter, which will be fun. I'm sure we'll have a hoot and lots of laughs and maybe a few tears, who knows? <laughs> Oh goodness, it's not my favorite. Has anyone from Australia flown over here to Canada? How was it? Actually, this is so great because after I said that Piper was going to Melbourne to study, a lady, Lorraine, from uh, Melbourne reached out to me and said, hey, I can be your daughter's like house mom while she's here. And I'm like, that's amazing. Like, because I don't know anyone over there, neither does she, right? So it's like, could you, what if Piper has an emergency and she needs someone? And this lady sent me photos of her and her family. She seems trustworthy. She looked nice. <laughs> anyway, her daughter, I think, was 23. So they'll be there. I'll reach out if need be. And hopefully I'm going to meet up with her, maybe go for a walk or a hike or something. I'd love to see parts of Melbourne that I don't know. Anyway, that's coming up in two weeks from today almost. So lots to do in the meantime. Round through the back here. I'll be filming some workouts over there as well. Got a nice little Airbnb for a couple weeks, so <laughs> we're, we're on the road again. Good times. All right, folks, thanks for joining. As always, go move daily in your fitness, wellness, and nutrition. I will see you in the next workout.